Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Bible Illustrated Hands. Um, just a quick note, I'm finally feeling much better uh, and hopefully the days of coughing are behind... <coughs> anyway, um, I'm going to see an orthorhinolaryngologist uh, today, uh, that is tomorrow, uh, to check if there's any residual issues and if there aren't, I'm back to my old self. Hopefully. So, uh, today's uh, question, or more of a comment, uh, comes from Giles the Kangaroo. Uh, he says that he has noticed, while investigating the Orthodox Church with the intention of joining, uh, that uh, Orthodox churches tend to become very nationalistic outside of their, um, uh, outside of their uh, respective countries. Uh, thank you for your comment, uh, Giles. And yes, that is true. Uh, however, this is uh, only natural, because uh, there is a very easy explanation for this. Uh, once you leave your country, let's say Serbia, uh, because uh, I'm mostly informed about that, but I'm pretty, I'm absolutely certain that it is the same everywhere else. You leave Serbia, and the only thing that uh, reminds you of your homeland is essentially the church. And not only that, but the primary place where you can find people from your homeland is the church. And uh, not only does the church look uh, like the one, uh, uh, like uh, the one in your homeland, it sounds the same, uh, and that is why. Uh, even the most rabid liberals who leave Serbia will go to church and very probably uh, turn uh, pious. Uh, I know a couple of examples of people who weren't really all that religious, but as soon as they left Serbia, they pack uh, uh, these huge tomes of Serbian history and become uh, very religious. One of my cousins was like that, God rest his soul, he has lost his life relatively recently, most probably due to a heart attack uh, while driving. Um, but uh, he was very religious, uh, and actually him being exposed to the church uh, um, while in the United States was the primary motive, you know? So there's that. Um, I hope that... Uh, um, all of these things uh, are kind of problematic, um, are kind of problematic uh, uh, when it comes uh, to converts, because uh, these churches are very slow to change their, uh, you know, their liturgy to accommodate for English language, in the United States at least, um, because uh, these churches not only have to think of the new converts, but also of the old gang, and... Uh, they're, of course, they're under a Serbian bishop. Uh, occasionally it can be a bishop, you know, a native-born American bishop who just happens to be, you know, part of the Serbian church, but, uh, for example, Serbian church. But again, that's not really that common. I think that at the moment <laughs> we have no Serbs uh, in the Synod, nor that we ever had them, but I, I can imagine that happening eventually. Uh, at least for the American uh, dioceses. Um, I, I don't think it was much different, for example, with uh, for, uh, Italian diaspora or uh, Polish diaspora. Uh, however, uh, things there weren't as pronounced because of the Latin masses, you know. So the church maybe would look like your church, but it uh, and it would sound like your church, but Italian attending a Polish church would also feel at home. And... That was one of the primary reasons why uh, the Catholic Church, you know, kept uh, kept Latin. Uh, but uh, all of these liturgical languages have their heavy pros and cons. So, and there's never a good, uh, <laughs> there's basically no middle middle solution. Um, I really like uh, the aspect of uh, churches uh, alternating languages. You know, half of the liturgy. Uh, is in this language, half of uh, liturgy is in that language, but they do it like, you know, zigzag. Like this litany is in Serbian, this uh, liturgical pr prayer is in English, 
Litany in Serbian and the next week the reverse. Okay, uh, I got too wordy. This is something that uh, <laughs> I completely understand why new converts can be, you know, kind of uh, frustrated about. But on the other hand, uh, in absolute majority of cases, you should be uh, uh, feel very welcomed by the, you know, uh, by the by the cradle, uh, by the cradle believers. And uh, if you don't, well, that church needs to do some heavy duty repentance and their reasons for being in that church, uh, um, you know, aren't really uh, about Christ. Bye.